Well, as you uh, are thinking about your New Year's resolutions, there is one that you may want to consider giving up. That's coffee, but maybe you shouldn't. No, not going to happen. Dr. No Kelly Powers joins us with the great news for all of us early risers. Nice to see you. Nice Happy New Year. Nice to see you guys. Happy New Year. So, coffee, a great thing. You know I've what? been saying it for years. <laughs> I have too, and according to many studies, not just one, that is what they're saying. Specifically, you know, let's start with diabetes. So there are 28 combined studies, three of which came out of Harvard University, which are large cohort studies, analyzing about a million people, and they showed that there's an inverse correlation between mm. drinking about three cups of coffee a day, not one, but three, decreasing your chances of getting diabetes, type 2 diabetes Why? specifically. Reason is chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid is going to decrease metabolism, uh, excuse me, increase metabolism of glucose and increase insulin sensitivity. Hmm. So type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. Best this is going to help out. Very good. Drinking coffee can protect us from liver cancer too? Wow. That's true. That's true. So it shows a 14% reduction according to various studies from something called Calfstall. Calfstall is going to decrease liver toxins in your liver and thus prevent carcinogens from forming. So this, this was the, the subject I look forward to the most this morning, validating my coffee addiction. But Definitely. especially for men, it sounds like uh, it also would prevent prostate cancer? Correct. So according to a meta-analysis, which is a fairly, lo fairly large study of over 500,000 men, it showed that there was a decreased correlation again between drinking daily cups of coffee and decreased prostate cancer. They even increased it up the ante if you had more than two cups a day to about mm. 12 or 13 percent reduction in prostate cancer. And that's from antioxidants. And again, Chlorogenic acid. Hopefully, eight cups makes you bulletproof. <laughs> right, I think so. That's about where I'm Probably going to start shaking. shaking but, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's why I'm so surprised that with your next point about Parkinson's mm -hmm. disease, how does it, you say it helps prevent that? Right, and you know what's funny? It is kind of it's, it's counterintuitive, but it's the caffeine in coffee that helps with Parkinson's disease, and that's because it is going to block the adenosine receptors in the brain, which will then thus increase dopamine. So Parkinson's, by definition, is a shortage of dopamine. So this is going to increase the dopamine. Now it will not stop Parkinson's from forming or developing. However, it's, it's shown to decrease the symptoms, which are imbalance, muscle weakness, stiffness, that kind of thing. Now, we should be clear. We're talking about drinking black coffee. Like the way nature intended it. No, okay, so no, no. Not the way that Anna, Anna drinks it. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll leave that. Splendas and milk in Seven, it. <laughs> Black or with a little milk, I think, is okay. okay. So. Uh, is there any downsides to it? You know, they're not finding it in these studies. I mean, well, you know, I, I should say this. Check with your primary care. There are some medications that are counter or interacting with it. So it's always best to check with your primary care physician on that one. But you say it can even make us live longer? Correct. So it can prevent premature death as of all the reasons we just suggested, but also it, it, there are studies that show that there is a decrease in heart disease mm. and chronic respiratory disease, even influenza and pneumonia as well. I don't well. see any downsides. I don't see, America, <laughs> go out, get another cup of coffee if it's your first, second, right. third, or fourth, and improve your life. But it can right. make you feel anxious, no. can't it? It I can. Mean, just short-term you know, thing. A little bit of shaking here and there, but you know, maybe more than three, we'll Minor see. <laughs> yeah. Minor keeps me from dying. I'll drink coffee. <laughs> there you I'll go. take the shakes for that. I'm going to go yeah, buy some now. You guys want some? I'm going to go next door. I want a mocha chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Kelly Powers, great to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Great to see you. Great to see you.